how does the creative process of writing a book compare to preparing for a movie role, and which do you enjoy the more? This is a great question, because it's actually the same thing, except you don't have to put anything down on paper. Tell me if, tell me if you don't do this as well. Yeah. When I, as soon as I say yes to a movie, as soon as I say yes to uh, taking on a role, if it's nine months before it or nine weeks before it, I start in my head writing the back story of that character, leading up to whatever happens in any individual scene. You have to carry, I find, the process that I was taught by, you have to have in your pocket, not spoken, not explained, not say, hey, Mr. Director, sir, I'd like, I'd like to incorporate. You just have to have that whole story with you every step of the way, and you do have to think about it. You do have to plot it out. You do have to almost verbalize and write it down. The difference is, is nobody reads it, nobody sees it, except in the moments of the performance that you give. So any moment that, uh, uh, it, it, particularly any sort of like big moment in a, all right, I, I, forgive me for doing this, but I'm gonna say it right now. Okay, Saving Private Ryan, thank you. Um, all right, all right, all right. Here's an example of it. Um, we're starting that movie, and it begins, of course, in the ad advance into D-Day, into Omaha Beach. We're in, the, we're in the boats. We're coming in, and Captain John Miller is scared. Why is he scared? He is afraid because he was in the Kasserine Pass in North Africa. Anybody know about the history of the Kasserine Pass? The 5th fifth, fifth Army Rangers were part of what was supposed to go very uh, Essentially, it was a massacre. The enemy destroyed the American army in the Castorine Pass in North Africa, and he is petrified that he is going to be leading his platoon into another Castorine Pass. Now, I didn't say that to anybody. I didn't announce it to anybody. Uh, but I had that in my pocket, and that, was, that came about because of the, uh, the um, uh, research and background that he did. That is the same kind of writing that goes into writing a book, except you actually have to put all that stuff down somewhere. He, was, he, had, he had survived the cast ring pass, and he was desperately afraid that he was going to make the same stupid mistake now that he did back then. That, so in, in the difference is you just save time because you don't have to type it. But it all has to be inside one's head. And that's why actors are usually stark raving nuts when we show up to, 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 to work on a movie because we, we got all this clouded imagery in our head. Unless you're Olivia Coleman, who famously doesn't do any research whatsoever. Are you shitting me? Yeah, and she got an Oscar very recently, so obviously she's onto something that you... But you know what she does? Yeah. She shows up on time. Yes. She knows the text. Yes. And she has an idea. And that is she just blows and she tells the truth. That's all she has to do. Damn, you can do it that simply? Yeah, why didn't you try? I'm going to give it a shot next okay. time. If I ever yeah. work again, thank you. You saw it here. You, were you may here get your third Oscar, finally. Ah. 